Hi, we are Tiger Tech's Team Black from Sharon, Pennsylvania. I'm Kate, and the rest of the team is going to take a moment to introduce themselves before we get started. Hi, I'm Sharon. Hi, I'm Warren. Hi, I'm Naima. Hi, I'm Ian. Hi, I'm Lucas. Hi, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Ben. Hi, I'm Lee. We are so glad that you're here with us today to hear about how to develop a robot strategy. Before we get started, here's a little bit about us. Over the past few years, our team has had the opportunity to compete in several international events. During this past season, we were the champion runner-up of Northwest Pennsylvania. In addition, we competed at the Virtual Open Invitational and were awarded Core Values runner-up. Prior to COVID-19, we traveled several times to the North American Open Invitational at Legoland, California, where we were the champions runner-up during the into orbit season. We hope today that teams are able to take away some of the tips that we have learned over the years to help with planning out their robot strategy for the Cargo Connect season. Our first tip for you is to know the challenge. It is important that you read the Cargo Connect robot game rulebook and are familiar with all of the rules. You should know the field setup, mission model details, rules, and access to a path diagram. It is also important to know the placement of the mission models and the purpose of home versus launch area. Launch area is where your robot begins its program going out onto the mat. Home, however, is where you transition, putting on attachments and taking attachments off. Launch becomes part of home during transition, but everything you need to launch out onto the mat needs to fit completely in the quarter circle. New this year for veteran teams are a few role changes. If you are a new team joining FLL this year, then there should not be any changes for you, just something to learn. Gracious professionalism is now evaluated at every match of the robot game for each team. The points that are awarded during the robot game matches are part of the team's core value scores. In addition to the gracious professionalism component, Mission equipment rules have been updated during the robot game, allowing for the use of equipment by the robot to complete missions. However, be sure to read the rules for each mission to understand what is allowed and what is not allowed. Home definition and robot returning procedure have been clarified. Remember that there is no ceiling in home and that the robot can return anywhere in the home area. At the end of the match, interruption has been clarified. Be sure to read rule number 16. Point values for equipment inspection bonus and precision tokens have changed. This means you may touch your robot once during the launch without receiving points taken off of your robot game score. However, a second touch begins to take points off of your precision token score. And finally, be sure to check for updates throughout the season. These updates are important to helping your team understand the expectations for the mission. Finally, when knowing Finally, when knowing the challenge, it is important to be sure that mission models are built and set up correctly. In the example shown, the correct version of the switch engine is on the left. On the right, an extra model was built incorrectly to show how easy it is to place a block, thus affecting the strategy of the team and how they approach the model. To be sure mission models are built correctly, refer to the build instructions and also watch the Cargo Connect robot game mission video. Also, know the challenge rules so you know how, to, how the models work. As mentioned a minute ago, it is important that as the season goes on to check for rule updates, updates are posted as needed by first on the FLL challenge website. Updates can be updated weekly, but are really posted as needed throughout the season. These updates clarify rules or change rules that can affect your strategy. Written rules are always final. Don't look, just rely on videos. Some rules were clarified, such as being the only team in a match changes the share mission to make it more accessible. Also, the accident avoidance was given a clarification on scoring. To help your teams learn missions, we recommend these mission markers developed by Arvind and Sanjay Seishon. These mission markers help your team learn the different names, point values, and roles of all the different missions. Our team used to use post-it notes, but we've learned that these are much better after one year of using them. And as a team, we use them for a good portion of the start of the season, so all of our teammates know all of the different missions. Found in the Robot Engineering Rulebook on page 21, there's an option for teams to map out their strategy. 
They can draw out different lines to different missions, look at the different missions where they're located. So they can all so they can choose all of the different missions that work with each other well. The next map strategy planning tool your team can use is a map grid by first. This map can be accessed online under the challenge materials for the Cargo Connect season. With this, your team is able to figure out precise measurements and relay them, relay them to teammates online. Teams that can't be in person will really benefit from this. Another option for planning out a team's robot strategy is an interactive tool developed by Arvin and Sanjay Seishan. This map has a bunch of different tools that your team can use to draw out your strategy or plan out your strategy with your team. For example, along the top, there are many different colors which you can use for different launches. There is a trash button, which will reset all the different things that you draw on the map. There's an eraser, which will erase wherever you select. There's an undo button and a redo button. So in case you make a mistake, you can take it away or put it back. There's a pencil, which allows you to draw different lines. There's a straight line tool, which after you draw it, it'll show a It'll show like different measurements and degrees for your team. And then there is a box tool, which you can put to mark off a mission, which shows you want to do it or don't want to do it. So if I reset the mat, say your team wants to go out and go to the cargo plane and grade a crate, you can have the measurement and the degrees for gyro if you want to use it. You have a box that you can put around it showing that you want to do that mission. And then say you want to go to the airplane mission where you push it out. You can have another line that shows the measurement and the degrees. And then you can also box that off just like you did for the other mission. And then if you need to go back home, you draw another line and this will take you back home. Once you're finished with that, you can save it. So there's an icon which allows you to save. You can show this with your teammates. You can download it from another teammate or you can send it to another teammate. So in previous years, when we didn't have this tool, our team used a map with strings. So we'd have the map and we would lay strings along it. And then if we go to in-person judging, this is a really good map to give the judges so they can see like our strategies that we planned out. So another tool developed by Arvin and Sanjay Seishan is a score. So in this score, there's all of the missions and all of their point values are in here. So for an example, just this example launch, Say your team fit all of your equipment in the small inspection area, you would get 20 points for that. Say your team got, got the cargo ship and they unloaded it. So they unloaded the cargo ship and it's completely on the east cargo ship deck. You get yes, you get that. So you press yes. And then that's 30 points. And then say your team got two containers that are on the train. You'd be able to slide this slider over and then that gives you 40 points. So now your team is able to calculate how many points you got. So for example, this would be 90. And then if you need to save a time or time your launch, there's a timer for your team. And there's also a way to save it and send it to your teammates, just like what you can with the map. When planning for robot launches, there are many aspects to consider. A few of them include how easy they are based on movement. For example, the unload cargo ship would be considered an easy mission where putting the cargo on the mission model would be considered more difficult because balance is needed for the cargo to stay up. Teams also want to consider how many points the mission models are worth when strategizing. A team's goal is to achieve maximum points, thus it is important to consider it when choosing missions to complete. One way a team can go about planning robot launches is to use strategy worksheets that are developed by Arvin and Sanjay Seishan. These worksheets will help teams think about, will some missions take more time than others based on location? Can missions be combined based on location? And can missions be combined based on attachment design? And can the attachment be reused? When looking at mission evaluation worksheets, there are several factors that get your team thinking about better evaluate missions mission planning, to better evaluate mission planning. First, document the location from launch of the mission model, which means where it's taking relative launch. Second, your team will want to find out the navigation ease of the missions. This means the way you're going to be driving up to the mission model. For example, if you're going to 
the airplane cargo, you will want to consider the multiple pathways you could take, which one is easier or harder. Third, consider the activation method. This means the mission model, how which way the mission model is completed. This might be a push, pull, spin, or lift. Fourth, other factors can could be considered as X factors. As an example, would be the height of the mission model or the size of the model on the field. Finally, consider the points of the mission models to help your team determine which missions are worth the value. The evaluation worksheets go through all missions, from innovation project to the loading cargo mission. This is a helpful tool for all teams, including advanced and beginners. As you look into the other worksheets, you will see other things such as robot testing, robot design, and the pseudocode, as well attach as well as attachment testing. All of these come into play as you plan for your robot launches and can be very important in ensuring a successful launch. Um, when considering your robot launches, you really want to think about realistically the setup of your team. If you're a rookie team, do not try for all missions, only start off with one to three and then build on those. For all the advanced teams, your goal is to try and achieve maximum points and as many as as many missions as you feel comfortable with. This year, there is a guided mission as, as in last year. The guided mission airdrop is this year's mission. It is, allows you the teams to learn the basic process of how to successfully complete a mission and it is provided. However, teams do not have to use it. The guided mission can be found in Spike Prime and EV3 apps. There are teams lessons uh, for the Spike Prime and EV3 mission robots to provide the support and structure for the teams to complete the mission. For example, the lessons include building a robot, programming a robot, and the ways it can move around the board. Programming the robot with, to interact with the game missions, learning and diffuse the sensors, and advanced ways to learn how following lines. The guided support is a great way for teams to use the strategy planning. When thinking about any strategy, you need to be flexible with it. <clears throat> Team members can individually plan missions and strategy and then combine the ideas. This could be at the start of the season or throughout the season. It is important that the team members do not get attached to one way to complete something. For example, if a team member has worked on a mission attachment and it is not working correctly every time, then that, um, that team member needs to be open to other ideas and be willing to change it for the better of the team. Be willing to have an open mind to multiple ways to complete something. Um, there might be multiple strategies that you can, can uh, that you can attempt um, when developing a strategy. Team members' ideas should be heard. If the team has differing ideas, consider voting or talking out the different plans to come to a consensus. It's important that team teams are persistent and don't give up after a few times. But at the same time. Teams tend to be willing to adapt to a mission strategy if it's not working. If a robot launch is consistently not working, then be willing to change. Then be willing to change um, how it how it's approached. Try, for example, try changing the route of the robot. Um, try approaching the model a different way. Maybe if you want to go on the top, the bottom, the side of the robot or the model, um, consider revising part of the attachment or the entire thing in whole. Uh, missions may need to be reordered so that they get done easier and quicker. When strategy planning, it is important to be creative with your problem solving. Uh, it is important to not let challenge rules limit what you can do. Use the rules and be creative with your solution. For example, during the hydro hydrodynamic season, the rules stated that this for the slingshot mission, that the slingshot be in its target for the zone that is black. It did not say that it had to be touching the zone, just in the zone. Our solution was to create a cart to push over the black zone. This allowed the slingshot to be in the zone in a creative manner. Add features that add significant values, and most importantly, think outside the box, let your creativity take over. It is important during the entire season that you document your strategy. You want to use pictures, sketches, and notes, as well as record your accomplishments, trials, improvements, and what you would do differently. This documentation is key to a good judging session. To learn more about documentation, check out flltutorials.com, where more presentations can be found on documenting your season. 
First provides an example of an engineering journal for all FLL teams. Be sure to check this out for getting too far into your season. Most senior teams will most likely use the provided engineering journal. However, this is not mandatory. Veteran teams may want to create their own journals depending on their team's personalized needs. <clears throat> when you go to a tournament, your team will have to do a presentation on a robot. Remember to discuss your robot strategy during this time. On this slide, you'll see that there's a judging flowchart. Just be aware that judging this year is all combined and that robot design is in the middle of your time slot. Every year is important to know the rubric because it's how you are assessed with your work. The rubric is the same as last year with five categories. The categories are identify, design, create, iterate, and communicate. Robot strategy is located under the identify category and also under communicate. It is really important that teams document their strategy and also are sure that they include all team members in the process. The tips and tricks today that we shared are appropriate methods to go about planning your robot strategy in FLL. We do not suggest watching videos, teams post to, sh to share how they completed their Cargo Connect mission. We feel that this limits a team's ability to be creative with the robot strategy. It is important to remember that this is a learning experience, so copying is just cheating yourself and your teammates. Some of the resources used today are listed here, including first challenge documents and also worksheets. The Cargo Connect sketch and score are located at flltutorials.com. Here at FLL Tutorials, you can go about, there's different ways you can design your robot. And then there's like robot games that you can go like basically learning technique. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact us at tigertechatsharonsd.org or reach out to us at one of our many social media sites. Thank you for listening to our robot strategy presentation today.